folks, we got an exciting day today. We are at the ranch and we are designing a hunting cabin lodge. But Brad the Builder's here and uh, he has finally, fi we've been talking about it for, well, weeks and months, but he has finally started his own channel. Brad the Builder, imagine that, right? So he is going to be doing a ton of stuff with construction. So if you guys are interested in construction, house building, home building, stuff like that, he's gonna be your guy, but he's gonna be doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff for my project. So he's building my house. He's building the shop house at my house. He's gonna be a part of the ranch cabin lodge. We're talking about some other projects as well. Um, so he's gonna be doing like totally behind the scenes, like all that good stuff. So if you guys wanna check that out, it will be linked down in the description down below. But this is, uh, hey, how's it going? My friend traps out here. Right, he right. left us a he left us a gift, Brad. This is right. this is the the fruits of his labor. Wow, look at that! Some big skunks and coyotes and possums and I've never seen that. Is that a little coyote? About that's the about the, about the size. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, he's a little small, but not not awful. Wow. Uh, but yeah, he's been. That's what we're managing. We're talking about managing for deer. So this he's is, trapped all these. Yep. This was just yesterday. There's a lot of critters out here. So there's like little hoodlums. Yeah. There's <laughs> yeah. Those are the ones you got to worry about. Those guys. Those I think those guys do the most damage. Do personally. Yeah, I think they do because they they raid nests and eat the eggs. So like turkeys have a really tough time. Oh. Um, you know, coyotes are really bad for deer, but any type of like quail or pheasant. I don't know. I think raccoons. And I think there's more raccoons Will than anything. Will a coyote take down a deer? Oh yeah. They they'll circle a pack. I've seen them. I've seen them do it with dogs where they'll send one dog out to attract like I'll talk about a house dog and it'll attract them and then there'll be four of them behind them and they'll smoke them yeah wow. they're they're smart wow. they're they're not is there is a mule in there yep oh okay okay cool let's make sure we have it smells um, a little bit like skunk but it's in there in there <laughs> oh, yeah, it probably, it probably it does smells like skunk yeah we got right we've got some skunk so so we've got exciting day we're gonna go out we're gonna see chad's out here too he's already down there doing chad thing he's been working on the dam here and there but it's been too cold really to do much and so uh okay man sheesh good now that'll singe the hairs right off your what's in there anything well that's where he keeps all that oh the bait yeah he <laughs> yeah well it's it's got it's got it's the stench in here yeah it's not too bad so this is uh this is the skinning shed that they used to skin the elk and the ostrich and the zebras oh, you can and bring them up to that beam. yeah so they put a beam up there we we, we put all of our deer here but then if you want to look over here this is their old pricing if you want to shoot a buffalo and get it caped, it's a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Yeah. The price of meat, that's pretty good. I know, that's, not, that's what I'm thinking. So this is old, like this is when they had buffaloes and elk and hogs and like super illegal. Like wow. you can't, uh, like like deer, you can't sell deer in, yeah. the, in this state, so. I see. You I'm know, even a buffalo, I mean, I'm surprised that they, they a buffalo. I, I don't, I didn't ask. It was one of them. We just took the fence down and stopped asking questions. So, so this is going to be the meat cleaning dirty shed. So we don't have to worry about. You want to do any improvement? You want to do anything extra here? Well, we, we can. We yeah. need to insulate it probably. It's, it's, it's pretty chilly in here. Yeah. Well, potentially, or the other way. I mean, so this is a cool room too. Well, I, this doesn't open. Well, it does, but that's a refrigerator room. So oh, I see. that's a, they had a walk-in fridge here. So this is where you can hang your, uh, you know, critters and okay. stuff like that. So we might, we might want to renovate this, but this is, we like to keep this, this is our dirty, dirty area. What we're going to be building will be a little bit, a little bit nicer. So but that's the, that's the setup. So how far away will you be from here? From the, the lot? We're, we're probably what quarter mile. So we'll jump. If you want to pull that out, Jake, yeah. we'll, uh, the side by side out. I'm going to go get some boots on. But like I said, we're going to be designing the cabin today, hunting lodge cabin, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so we got Brad the Builder here and some designers. We are, uh, that's the plan. So, uh, we're going to go out talk to Chad so Chad said he shot some levels meaning like where the water is gonna be where he thinks we should put the cabin a couple different options should we put it on the top of the hill and get a really cool view should we put it next to a lake for easy access you know there's multiple options different options so we're gonna try to figure it all out today and get kind of a rough idea of what the design looks like maybe we'll go inside and sketch it out draw it up Probably. and really just by the end of the today's video we want to have a fairly good idea of the size of the building in the layout where the kitchen would be where the bathrooms would be bedrooms because we know we're gonna try to put a couple bedrooms on the main level a couple bedrooms up top showers you know giant shop because like all the tractor equipment we want to put all that away safe locked up and we want to put it on the lake so we're going to be way over there so that part of it is going to be we're going to run a new road all because we can't run the road down here because the water is going to be there so we're going to run a new road around all these hills through these trees it's going to be really cool i'm telling you over the next few months this place is going to change as long as we can get a builder company out here to come out here and build all this stuff rather quickly so anyways with that being said i'm gonna get some boots on jackets on and uh we are gonna get to design it, so stay tuned. So the biggest 
is going to be 100 by 50, but I think we can go down from that. I think to do that, you'll have to decide whether you want to sacrifice view or you want to have the view and build you a big road down here. Yeah. Because on top would be beautiful. It would be. But that that hill's huge as far as yeah, got it. cutting into it. If we, we, we could cut into it here and make a spot big enough, yeah. but the wall behind it's going to be 150 feet. Otherwise, if you want to be down by the water, yep. I think it needs to be over in that next, corner, which I thought of, I thought of that too. So the 50 end would be the view end. Yep. Correct. Okay. Yep. So yep. we can have some angles on the side. Yep. So yep. we have views looking to, obviously to the the west. Yeah. Uh -huh. And kind of yeah west more south southwest. Yeah, because I mean in a perfect world I was like you know you just plop it right there and this would be your view. But we, if we need to put it over there, I think that's fine. I don't I like see a it. problem. If we can with get that. some of that southern view, is what you're well, going to be getting. If, 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 yeah. If we try to stay at that level, even if I come down here and do some clearing, he'll be able to see everything. Yeah, because there's a huge, I mean, that's wide open river landscape. There. There's a river yeah. down there. Is that what you're thinking then? You'd like to yeah. stay off the top of the hill? You'd like to stay down closer I, to the water? Like, as much as I would love it to be on the tip top and have the coolest view in the world, I just know the functionness of coming down to the water and having to have a side-by-side -side to do it, it's going to not be worth the view, in my opinion. Because, we're, you know, we're, I imagine sitting on the porch and hearing the bell of your catfish rod and walking down there and catching the fish. Right. Like, that's, and I think that's worth more than pretty views. Well, we can get some of that views per by personally. doing your barn tall if we have the top floor yeah. could be that balcony and I think here we are we're at 10 foot below water standing here yeah yeah and you can we got a nice yeah, view you go 10 more there. feet yeah and then you go 20 10 more feet from there you're you'll 20 have, 25 30 you're yeah. gonna have that view oh, okay have yeah okay I mean I think this, this view is I mean this is this view is cool. great yeah so you're, and you're still in the lake right now yeah you see the water right. water's right here yep yeah and so this I'm, would be this is going to get deeper my goal you know our goal coming down here was bigger deeper most pond we could get yeah so once i burn that pile and get that out of there i plan on bringing another articulated truck down and just dropping this as far as yeah whatever big, happens around here will let me your your 100 foot long building you still get all that white space and then the end yeah. is where your great room living room that looks way out yeah, so you it. no one's really stuck with just a one view out the 50 foot end so he didn't I'm looking at the water. I mean, this would be, I think, water. I mean, because we can doze yeah. all this out. So this would be lake. Uh -huh. I mean, that to me, that'd be the coolest if this was water. Yeah. Like, because if you had your building sit uh -huh. where you've almost got water on, like this now kind of your building. Point. Kind of on a point. Yeah. yeah. So instead of like just being on a shelf and looking at a lake, you would have lake here. So on your 50 foot gable end, mm -hmm. your windows could shoot here, and that's lake. Water. But then you also have a lake. So, I mean, like in front of the the garage right, doors. That'd be way cooler. I think that's cooler because like, you have to get this water here, and then the water would stop here. So I'm thinking your gables, like this is your the yeah, end, yeah. Is, is right here. Let's say it goes yeah. to here. I mean your port patio. Yeah. Looking you're, you're looking out. out the fireplace is right here. You've got all your windows. You also got to think. You're gonna have that, and then this is gonna be windows too, which we yeah. talked about. So this, you got basically windows like this, uh -huh. and then you would walk out the shop garage doors, and there's there's lake in front of your garage. Yeah. I think that'd be crazy. That'd be cool. And I think if we just sheet it uh -huh. up there, this is plenty of yeah. area to like pull around and flip around and do all that. So we're gonna want the garage doors on that side then, yeah. is what we're saying, right? Because you want your views to be down The views here. need to be over here, which is what I initially had said, yeah. yeah. Dude, this views. This view is dope. This view, I like, this view is way better. View is better here, in my opinion, than Definitely. if you had it around. Because I always thought, like, so see how he's already got this flat going yeah. here. He could keep it going, That's and, what and I was that saying. could be the That's road, the and you could put the cabin on that corner. Back over there in the yeah, corner, it, just, it flattens out a little bit. Does it? It would be less expensive. <laughs> <laughs> be I'm, less all for, I'm all for that. <laughs> and plus, you wouldn't have but just a few trees to clear out over there. Yeah. There's not so maybe even just back over here in the we, corner, and you're we, up a little bit higher, and you got a little bit better view out towards the valley. So you've kind of got this L shape. So you're gonna have water here, and then the water's gonna come into here. I mean, because we can blow this out. You can see where the water line's gonna be. Right. He's actually got the rocks, but we could probably lower this a little bit more. But essentially, you're gonna have water like this, and yeah. we're sitting up here. And I'm thinking, you have the gable end, the 50-foot gable end, sure. with all the windows, the fireplace, kind of how we had designed. Yeah. Looking out here, but you could have windows along this wall too. Sure. Looking and so your too. building would run long, 100 long this way, or however, the long side, let's put it, and the short side would run this way, which you said it gets short. But then I feel like you, you know, all your windows and stuff are here and then you could just enter i mean and then we could we could always put the one garage door at the end which we talked about at the end really easy to come in and out as long as we've got enough road in the front and then maybe even the behind i don't know i feel like this would make you'd get a lot of water you'd almost feel like you're out on like a peninsula and you've got water not 360 but like I mean, 180. putting the cabin there too does take up quite a bit of spot you can make more water right here you know? yeah i mean that would be the goal is i basically like this wall right here mm -hmm. where those rock piles are i would love to have water and be like deal, yeah. enough water to like run a boat you know and not you know not hit shore so we need to make sure there's enough water there which doesn't look like quite the case right now it's closed 
house exactly. can he build the dam two more feet well, yeah. so because that you know what i'm saying this would look i mean we well, obviously we'll clean this up but like you don't want it to look like that yeah. we, we don't want like six inches of water it'll be it'll be scummy it's gonna be, it's gonna look like trash here it's got to be deep enough to make sense mm -hmm. so that's one, one thing we want to make sure i think this is the perfect elevation you can see a lot if he clears those trees you can see a lot you're gonna have water when you walk out of your porch all you'll see is water you'll see water here and you'll see i'll see water as far as i can see there it's just gonna be on a lake and then yeah he's gonna have the thing is yeah he's gonna have to it's probably gonna be, have to be that right yeah he'll have to blow this out and make a road so we can get because we have to be able to we have to be able to drive to the dam obviously so i like this is good because i originally was going to put it in that corner i'm like by the time we get it up there you're gonna have to have a staircase to get down to the pond and i'm like well that just doesn't make sense so i feel like this area this area is better and so okay you want to take us where you where you were just thinking where it's yeah. flat maybe so it's just for, further up here yeah we're you're up i mean yeah i see what you're saying it's flat up here it's flat is a deep flat spot up in this whole area right here. minimal amount of dirt amount of dirt <laughs> this would be cool so and then you would just wrap your road around to the water's edge you know for i'm saying like water access yeah this is not access right the other thing he could do is he could shave this and he could slope that down to the water and that could be your water access too assuming again that's we just got to make sure there's I mean, you got to have at least four or five feet of water here which i don't think we're gonna get yeah. i think regardless this is the area I whether agree. we put it here whether we put it down there i think a lot of it's going to depend on the water because again if you're like if he's like there's only we can only get six inches of water here then that's going to change everything yeah. in my opinion yeah. it either needs to be three four feet of water or grass yeah that's you, you don't want an awkward in between because i know what an awkward in between is and it, that whole lake is only two feet deep and it's it's uh, it, you're gonna think oh this is cool there's just so much more water it's completely unusable it's it's mm -hmm. all filled with grass and moss you can't fish it you can't boat it you can't swim it yeah. like if we want this to be our beach and it's two feet deep you won't be able to swim it so mm -hmm. you either kind of have to have it deeper just push it all in and put the cabin yeah. further down yeah those are going to be kind of your two in a perfect world if he wasn't digging through lava rock he could just dig it out <laughs> yeah but it sounds like he can't dig it out anymore because if he could just dredge us out three more feet take all that dirt build up the dam we'd be done yeah and maybe over so all right well i guess we know we have an idea of where we're putting it now we got to design it so stay tuned what's going on ladies and gentlemen it's been well it's been about a week actually instead of boring you guys with a little sketching drawing and then saying stay tuned and sketchy drawing stay tuned sketchy drawing we did all that off camera and we are here to recap it. and brad the builder's here there we go and you've got the the binder the flare barn binder we are we're at the haunted house which this is uh this is a treat in and of itself we're not going to tour it or anything but it's definitely i mean you can tell it's it's in good condition it looks like got mice living in here it's got we got something living in here those are all flies actually oh, those are flies which is even better <laughs> which is even better but so this is welcome to my office it's not it's not quite as nice as your office but it's close um, so this it's is good to have the fireplace in your entryway you like that <laughs> well what's funny this was an addition yeah this is the exterior oh. yeah there's like five additions on this house it's yeah it's interesting wow. yeah yeah it's, it's, it's a work oh, it's a work in progress but here's my office this is this is the hq for oh, building this, this works out nice yeah you like that I like it. so like i said we've been drawing jake and i we actually got on my ipad and we drew some 3d stuff and basically then just sent it to brad and said you and your professional guys make it look actually decent because what we designed wasn't but you guys saw the layout you saw the plan we haven't done the dirt work yet but we are chad said he's gonna be out there soon he should be clearing all the trees out clearing all the land flattening it out and then we got to get this plan finalized so we can order the building because with materials and stuff actually i found somebody who can get it done in about a month and a half to two months so hopefully soon we'll have something to work with but the sooner the better the sooner we can order it the sooner we can get it chad's gonna get the pad done we'll make a new road and my goal is to have this thing up and running you know spring into summer so we can use it and basically spend all summer finishing it because then it'd be inside with the ac you know i'm trying to make it easy on so we on the workers this all done in the next they get these things go up fast the buildings the inside, the inside. It takes a little longer How, if you were to guess from the time that the building's done and you're like all right send the workers in there we're gonna frame it electrical plumb it what do you think? Well, because I don't know, we're, we're so far away from cities that I'm familiar with. Yeah. I would say in a perfect world, hopefully we can get it all done in let's say 90 days. Okay, three months ain't That's bad. Good. Three months ain't bad. That's it for clipping, right? Yeah, now. yeah. It's because wow. it's not super close, but we got Beefcake Construction who can step in, and sure. I mean, I can, sure. I can run Rome. Don't have me run Rome. I heard Banjo's ready to run a hammer. For Banjo, don't just don't let him on a ladder. He, Banjo be falling off all the ladders. <laughs> I was finishing my garage in my old house, and he just comes <laughs> and just falls and straight, really straight off the ladder. Yeah, he's always trying to claim uh, <laughs> workers' comp with me. So, anyways, what we designed was four bedroom three bath with a loft in the living so we've got kind of all the renderings here but before we really get into it i want to show you guys we'll roll the clip now of what jake and i designed which is like a 3d software on my ipad i think it's like free or cheap for that matter just to show kind of half shop 
half living, kind of where I wanted everything. We, we, you know, we've moved some stuff around, but this is how many revisions do you think we've we've done here? Well, there's, you've done probably more than I have. There's there's a revision. We can start it. We kind of you sketched. Look at you. We, we I didn't write this out. Picasso. Here. Look at this guy. Wow. Here we go. Sheesh. She big, big sketch it out guy. Well, we good. did that on the fly in the truck. I was in the truck the other day. So I just want to make sure when, when you're coming down the hill, you're seeing this huge garage door. Yeah. And yeah. then this is the view going, looking out yeah, the looking lake. Yeah, looking at the lake. So well, I was trying. It's like over here. Yeah, yeah. So we wanted to get a sense of entry. I and mean, you like things very uh, symmetrical. symmetrical yeah, so symmetrical that's guy. off center. So we had to move that back. So yeah. this one yeah. got us in the right direction. But that we one still, on the. We still have made We threw that one away. Yeah. You know, we also work on the floor plan. So you yeah. can see how we just, I thought I had it right. And then you like the idea with the staircase. We originally had it up against the wall. Yeah. And you want it away from the wall, like a sense of entry. So. Yeah, where you can put like a drop zone on the inside of the stairs, kind of. So you kind of walk in, have your drop zone, then you can walk around everything yeah. else. Do you see now we have it kind of centered up. We yeah. got these windows match these. Well, that was a little bigger, but we'll throw. So that make it, make is the same symmetrical. size. That's, that's C yeah. with the line. That's center. So okay. we're a little off center. But close. As long as it's close. close. Yeah. I just, what I hate is I hate those barnuminiums. You see like, it looks like a shed and they went inside and said, you know, we're gonna have a bedroom there, this, that, and the other. And they put all their windows and it's on this, just a flat wall. And then you go to the outside and it looks like you just took a handful of windows and threw it out the wall. Yeah. There's, I like just, I mean, I don't, it doesn't be perfectly symmetrical, but like when you've got a front door, two dormers, two windows, I just think it looks good. Yeah, just, I don't know. Just because you're building a barn. Doesn't mean it look doesn't like Doesn't have to make it look yeah, like one. So yeah. we're, I think with this day and age, with the shortage of workers, by us getting this thing up fast, yeah. then we'll bring in our home building skills and yeah. make this barn look like a minium, the yeah. condominium. Right? Yeah, yeah. So you can see we redlined some stuff, right, a yellow and what have you, but let me show you what we've got. Hopefully it shows up. There's another reversion, revision. We change it again, 24th. Yeah, so I remember that we were talking about putting the door over here mm -hmm. and then coming in and going up the stairs like that and having the landing with a window. We talked about, yeah, but, talked about that. But that wasn't as dramatic what we yeah. wanted. So I have some better stuff now. Okay. So tossing this one aside, that was the first one. So now the three, now here's number four. <laughs> and here I am, I'm just like, Brad, if you just do this build, it's simple. I'm gonna put up a shed. We just need a couple, couple bedrooms, master, you know, just an open concept kitchen living. And it's like, full-blown designing a house again. Like, it I feel is. like I'm designing another house. I mean, but we want it to look good. You don't do this once, you know? But you, so. you know, that's what happens. You, you think it's simple because it's square or yeah. rectangular. Yeah, yeah. But which, that's the simple part. Now we got to make it work work on, on the, the inside. inside. Yeah, okay. I got it. This is what your designer did was fit in. So this is my tractor that we have down there. We said 30 feet. That's including the bush hog. So we wanted to make sure it was big enough. So we put a big so, door. Yeah, here's where you drive in. Yep. This so, is a wall. Yep. And that's a wall, so the door. So you'll drive in yep. here and then you'll be able to park all that. Park so this is like, this is max capacity. We we don't have three side-by-sides down there. We don't even have a boat down there yet. We don't have my truck or, and I don't even own a midside SUV. I don't know. Just, Macy's. Macy's, I guess a midside. And then, uh, then the tractor. And then this was like open. We want to make like a workshop. So this is a cleaning uh, station. So stainless steel with a sink, big countertop. But just to show you what you can fit in that size, we had to do that. We had to figure out what, you know, I don't know how big you need of a building. Like the building down I have my duck farm is 60 by 40 and we've got two side-by-sides, a giant uh, bow fishing boat, the duck boat and the tractor and a workspace and there's still room for more. So like that's maybe a little overkill. You can't always go too big, but you also don't want to look like we put, you know, a Walmart fulfillment center out in the middle of the woods. We gotta, we don't want, you want to go too big. So we want to make something balanced, but just to show you kind of what, what we had laid out in the garage. So we can, we want to be able to put the tractor in there. I mean, things hundred thousand dollars. I don't really want to park it outside if I don't have to. Once we have the lake, we are going to have a boat. That's a 25 foot boat. That's, I mean, that's for a big rig. We may also not have a this, boat. This oh, yeah, is those, another, here's another garage, garage doors. door. So yeah. you'll come in this way yep. and this way. So that's, well. those are things we added after. When Jake and I designed it, we weren't going to put that. But what happens, I went and talked to Chad and I said, Chad, do you think there's enough room right here? So just to let you guys know, this is the lake. You're gonna have, this is the lake right here and, and around, I mean, this the whole thing's the lake, but I just wasn't sure how much room we would have here because the lake's close and the further we dig dirt this way, the more expensive it gets. So we're trying to avoid that. And he said, yes, you're gonna have room to pull in. You may not have a, you know enough room for a huge long trailer. That's fine, we got a big door over here, but this would be like bringing your ATV, your side-by-side -side golf cart, stuff like that. So you got two doors, so three garage doors now, kind of the overall and layout. And kind of it. split it. I think this is 40 feet. So we're trying to do it divisible by eight. Okay, that's important. Because the pole barns are eight foot on center. Oh, so okay. see, these are the things I don't think about. Yeah, I, so I it, say, it, it helps. That. Okay, so, so that makes sense. That's 40, so that works out good. You have, you have a barn 
uh, pull uh, every eight foot. So my my five of them. I was gonna say my barn at my house is uh, my shed at my house is forty deep, yes. which would be the same thing as this. Right. And then mine is forty eight wide. So and we were right. thinking so house eight. That, that's was that was that good? Yeah, because okay. forty eight goes oh, yeah, forty five. That's, that's six stuff. times. That's stuff. So so then how and how long are we well, making the shop? Well, I think we're remember. like at that hundred and. Four. Oh, in total. Oh, yes. Yeah. So what about that, what about the shop itself? Do you remember? Uh, I can't remember. I, I need you got your eyes. I don't have my glasses. These, I got guys, eyes. These are so small. Okay. Can you? Well, the whole thing is a little over 110. 100, 110. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Just call it yeah, 50. 50. It's 54, I think is so what it is. Basically, you're almost but, cut it almost in half. Which mine's 48. So it's basically you take my shop at my house. And you put it here, and then we take living quarters and put it, and then you make it one building because it's cheaper that way yes. than to have two individuals, believe it or not. So one big building, and then we'll just run a wall in the middle. So essentially, the shop that you see is at my house, how much stuff I have in there, we can put the same amount of stuff in this one, which I think is good, especially since we have big stuff like the tractor. There is the shop. Yep. Okay, so that's, you can see it's pretty close. This is just a little, a little bit longer, bigger. A little longer, uh, which is good. Where, we got longer, once again, this is because the stairs. Got it. throwing us a curveball. Okay. So you can see now the stairs are sitting this way when you come in. Now we have this kind of a, a big entry. Got it. Where if you go back, I don't know if you want to go back before, where we had it. Here's another way you, you kind of have. That's kind of, this is what we're trying to go for. Yeah, a little right? entry. Where you walk underneath it. And I have some 3D drawings. Okay. Of that. Oh, of this? Of that, yeah. Oh, It's, it's well, kind of rough. Oh, geez. It's, you've got to focus on this here a little bit. You got to wrap your brain around it. So here's the stairs. See the stairs? This is, got it. as you walk up the stairs, you come up and around and then you walk under. So this piece, that is this, all right? That, that is that, and then this, Right here is that, so your couch. Yeah, couch got it. No, I, yeah, I, I can see it, yeah. And then it's gonna go up and you'll walk underneath it. So what happens, he took the roof off, so you're starting to see like light fixtures hanging down. Yeah, yeah. But we can clean this up. But this Here's your walkway, your landing, that you're gonna walk underneath that to get to your kitchen. Oh, so we're like so, a tunnel. Yeah, well, well, it's kind of. We're getting fancy with it off. So you'll walk in, you'll have a nice wall for, maybe it's maybe it's some mounts or art, what have you. Yeah, okay. You now this huge entryway, but also this was up against that wall. I kind of like the idea yeah, we can play with that. If I we like wanna, that if you we can get move around. It. We're gonna move it over, yeah. and you have more room. But I see you come in. That it still feels kind of closed in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, um, I agree. But here's your your big kitchen. Every day we change it, so you just want to get to the point where you're like, okay. that's it. <clears throat> so once now you, once you understand that this is if we were standing right here in this corner, okay. looking back. Yeah, I know. Right? I, yep, I get it. Yep. So there's your dining room table. Mm -hmm. You can put it like this. So here, here we are standing. Here's your dining room table. Yep. There's your kitchen island. Okay. Right, and you look through and you see your stairs. That's your back kitchen yep. right there. What we really wanted to do is see how it impacts. It's really hard to pick up on. No, yeah, no, I, I, I see it. Yeah, yeah, I totally see it. This this becomes part of the, uh, it's like a room. Yeah. But, but it's low, you got a railing, land, and go up again. But it's, it. it does kind of consume a big part. It's a, but yeah. You get, you you foregoed your pool table. Right. Oh, no. Oh, Banjo's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be, He's so, gonna be so pissed. Yeah. So a staircase out in the middle. Can we put an elevator? Is that, is that better than stairs? Yeah. An elevator? I don't know the same one. <laughs> <laughs> hey Brad, can we make like a half a million dollar barnuminium for like two fifty? Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Hey, can we get an elevator too? Yeah, an elevator and uh, I, I'm not, a couple of I'm, I'm all to think about it. We'll have to see. So that's there's a there's a few different ways of going about it. Here's my question: mm -hmm. When when I mean does this does this impact the building itself? They're not really. No, no. So we no. can we, order we the building. We just need to know the okay. building because these well, guys pull out the stairs. Right, right. Yeah. See, that's where I might compromise on the symmetrical. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm yeah. a symmetrical. So we guy, have but. to be able to get down this hallway. We yeah, have to get important. into this great room and we also I don't know it might not be bad if we moved it to there if I was gonna do it I see would there? say I would say move it that. yeah I, see, now, I can see that that looks a little better so now you come scooting in. 